that's what you you would do do you ever like sing to yourself just to get like hyped up and ready like yes we're gonna sing about the thumbnail we're creating <laughs> hey everybody it's margaret welcome to my channel texas gal treasures in today's video we are gonna open a oh a goodwill blue box a full of jewelry and we have got for your viewing pleasures the video cam we haven't we haven't named this one we've got video cam we've got treasure cam we've got it all going on today we're gonna look at some jewelry we're gonna see what we got today come on dance with me come on all i see looking back at me are my kids going you're embarrassing me mom don't come on work with me dance with me we're gonna jewelry it up today <laughs> i've had some coffee now it's time for water Ah, so yes, um, we are going to open this up. I wanted to real fast before we dive into opening this up. I've done a couple videos uh, about the eBay auctions I'm trying out and the um, the videos I'm making to embed in my my eBay auctions. And those I I've toyed around with making them. I know I can make them unlisted. Right. And then oh, they can only be viewed through my ebay listing but what's the fun in that <laughs> so i know i talked about this a little bit on the other video about like um you know kind of like hurts my i don't know if it hurts my channel but i lose some subscribers when i do that but i figured you know what i'm trying to share best practices as i'm trying to set the example and um yeah so <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna keep them live i have one that is unlisted and i'm like Meh. What I'm going to do, though, is try to come instead of doing one video for each of the listings is try to make let me fix this real fast, make a video for m multiple. So like the I just created one. I haven't put it up yet. Um, and it's got like three of the jewelry lots. So it's going to be like that because it's kind of cool. Just people might want to watch it because it's got the fun music that I like. And it's you know how at the end of the videos where we do let's make a thumbnail so it's kind of set up like that where it looks like i'm making like i do with let's make a thumbnail where i'm laying out all the jewelry so it's kind of fun just to watch anyway okay so but that's not why we're here but i just felt like i had to say it out loud right <laughs> embarrass my kids just by breathing yeah um but then again i was telling the kids i need to make a new like intro for my recorded videos because mine that i have i've had forever and they were giving me ideas. I mean, they know that I don't mind looking ridiculous. And they were like, you need to get to this, like have little pictures of you like dancing like this and have two of them, like one on each side and then make up a my own jewelry song and all of this craziness. They were giving me really solid ideas. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> hey, yes. I Yeah, it, it, we had some thunder and lightning, uh, but maybe it won't be too bad. We'll find out. Fair warning if we lose power. So uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, it's got a mod. I just need to get a little flip going here, right? Here we go. It was kind of working the flip there. <laughs> there we go. I'm Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the lashes lately. So I've been, uh, I should take a before and after in the morning because I, I put them on and then it's like, I have to clean myself up. Cause I'm like, how do I do this? Like stabbing myself in the eye and all of this. It took a while to get there, but here we are. <laughs> Maybe it'll get easier. I don't know. Cause what did I need this for this morning? You ask? Cause you did soccer had to take kids to soccer this morning and you gotta wear the lashes at the soccer at <laughs> soccer oh how exciting your last thread at 15 piece you got an amazing alexis bitar lucite clamper bracelet yay yeah i i i struggled selling mine well not struggled selling them having them sell rather but putting them up like i've just kind of collected them so I, suddenly i have this mini collection of alexis bitar i have some earrings somewhere too now that i think of it um <laughs> thank you the lashes are red aspen I have to get the box next time and see what flavor they are. Um, but they just put out red aspens, the nails, if you guys don't know, nails, lashes, whatever. They just put out some new nails today real fast and they're like tie dye. So I'm going to have to go check that out. Uh, oh, thank you for the super sticker buck 99. Thank you. Okay. Now I need to give you a super sticker back. Here we go. What's it going to be? Let's do this for, for good lucks. 
ah, hang on, I gotta hide it so you can see it. Here we go. We're getting the good vibes. Here, let me see if I can wear it. Can I do it? Hey, yeah. All right, we're wearing it. Yay! Thank you for that. Now I have to figure out how to turn it off. I'll sit this way. There we go. We really are going to start jewelry here in a second. Um, let's see. I know you're not looking, but it's nice to look. Oh, oh yes, true single dance. <laughs> this is true. You never know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not like hardcore looking, but I'm I'm good. You know, whatever. It'll happen if it happens. Opening a remake of a Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend one. It's true. Uh, I got to see if that's in the public domain. A kiss on the hand, maybe quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but it won't pay the rental on this humble flat. We're going to open it. Or help me at the automat. Men grow old as, wait, no, men grow cold as girls grow old. And we all lose our charms in the end. Come on, but square cut or pear shape. These rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> Tiffany, how do I, do I know all the words? Yes, I do. Cartier, talk to me, Harry Winston. Tell me all about it. Okay, <laughs> I'll spare you. You know I won't. You know I won't. Not, I will not spare you. <laughs> I will sing at you until you sing along, run away, or become highly embarrassed. <laughs> One or the other. Or multiple options there, rather. Okay. So we need to do first impressions. Let's look at it here. So far seeing... I'm going to take my hand duty off. Okay. There. Uh, oh, that looks like turquoise right there. Mm, bring it up, baby. There it is. Look at you, beauty. You're not gold, but you're good as gold. Right? Sometimes turquoise can sell for amazing. There's another ring over here. Okay, I'm going to hold it up high so we can see up in your face. You scored two blue boxes last week. Sweet. This is actually one I've had on the shelf. <laughs> it's way better than Elf on the shelf. Blue box on the shelf. <laughs> Jewelry on the shelf. I promise I'll be good. Reveal your treasures. All right, so I see some really cool stuff. I'm, in, I'm, I'm interested to see what this looks like a bracelet, a paneled bracelet. I'm interested in seeing what this is going to be. Your daughter's jazz class is dancing to that song at the recital. Oh, I'm excited. How awesome. I used to have a Marilyn Monroe, was it just Marilyn Monroe, um, you know, like a CD of just her songs, her singing songs. It's just fun, right? It's just fun. How do we want to do this? Okay. If you're trying hard not to buy a box. You really have to listen. Go, I feel you. I'm not going to do it because I've been making lots. What did I say? I'm trying to downsize. And I have been, I, I took some of y'all's advice when we talked about um, eBay auctions the other day. And I've been creating some lots based on color. So you'll see. You'll see. Okay, here we go. So first up, we've got a bangle. It's a kind of an interesting bangle. It's got these panels, kind of this etched, not really etched, but kind of more like impressed. And it's not like a repousse, because you can see it's not pressed in from the back. Very cool. We've got more bangles. The internet is conspiring against me singing. Um, not cool, internet. We're not having that. We're going to sing it anyway, and the internet will cooperate or else. On three, three, two, one. Wait, no, that's on one. <laughs> little bangles on the hillside. Little bangles made of ticky tacky little bangles on the hillside, and they all look just the same. There's a black one with a missing stone. And a evil eye one. It's kind of cute. And a cheapy one. And a fun one. And they're all made out of ticky tacky. And they all look 
just the same. No, they don't. Okay, <laughs> those are fun, but they're probably just going to all end up in lots, most likely. Okay, uh, here we go. Found a Tiffany and Co. bracelet in a shop Goodwill box. Where on the internet do you often? You got to be really careful, um, because there's such good fakes out there. But I think there are sites you could. Oh, what's the site? I think the Spruce might have one where it's like telltale signs or whatever of um, fake. I'm going to go over here so we can look at this while I detangle it. Um, but yeah, if you Google, but even still, like I would be, I, I, I'm always so hesitant. Oh, look, it came right off as far as, especially things that are really heavily faked. Definitely. Um, I'm sure I probably did talk about it in one of my videos, but now I can't remember. <laughs> uh, do I still buy the jars at Goodwill too? I if I ever find them, the Goodwills here in Austin don't generally have the jars. I have found them at Savers. And I think there probably are some um, other like charity stops, charity shop type thrift stores in more in Austin proper that, that might have them, but I... Mm, I never get over there. So I know my, my internet went out for like half a second. Uh, thank you. Oh, I should sing something from Frozen maybe. Um, yeah, no, it was my internet. I don't know what city this one is uh, because I unpacked it onto the shelf and didn't keep the big box that it came in. Yeah, if you bring... Oh, okay. If you bring Tiffany, if you bring it to Tiffany to polish, they won't polish it if it's fake. Ah, oh, good to know. But I know that the the necklace I got on the last one, the necklace was not Tiffany, but the pendant I think is. Okay, let's let's move on. Sorry, I just keep talking. Look at this bracelet, y'all. How's the lighting? Can we make it brighter? Hang on, let me get my ring light on. I'll give you a little more light. There we go. How's that? Um, so this bracelet, it appears to be leather, a red leather bracelet. This is Maria. Oh boy, here we go. Oh gosh, Oitisia. Don't even. Don't. Don't. Don't laugh at me. Okay, so it looks like it could be something cool. It's dated and everything. Um, Brazil, made in Rio. I'm going to find out about that. It reminds me of warm leatherette. Only it's not. It's actually leather. Then, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Um, we've got this really cool bracelet. I'm zooming. It's like this multi-chain bracelet that has got like multi-metal which some people love so it's got the copper the brass the silver and then it's got like the black tone uh like gracious i can't think of the words um like gun metal right and then it's got a cute little hang tag i don't know i mean it it try it's trying to look like a lucky but it's not lucky brand but it's really nice i like that a lot definitely Definitely cute. So I'm going to put that with the red one because I'm going to look it up. And then, is that a ball jar seal ring? It is. It isn't. The red one. Um, have been disappointed with the last couple of jars from Savers. Uh, me too. My Savers. But they've got a lady that goes through all the jewelry, you know. And so I think that maybe, you know, she knows kind of a little bit more. I mean, still. Um... Nobody knows everything, right? So there's always an, a chance. This is that one I was saying. Oh, I can't wait to see what that is. It's got this kind of denim blue color. And then this really three-dimensional swirl. Definitely. Now, would you still consider that rep you say? I think it's, I mean, it's not done by hand. It's clearly like metal, like pressed in a machine. But, I mean, that would still be a kind of a keyword. I'll have to find out. if Because like rep you say is when... You know, it's like pressed through the back. What are your thoughts, my jewelry experts, my jewelry peeps? But yeah, it's a nice panel, denim blue and silver. I mean, it's not silver, silver, but silver tone. And then it's got this little hang over here. And it's got a hook and eye, sort of. The hook needs to be a little more 
hooked around, but that's easily fixed. Cool. I like that. That's different. It is different. These are tags. Those in the trash, I think. Uh, what have we got here? Hello. Thank you for the... Is that... Oh, boy. Here we go. Eloxtal? I'm just going to say axolotl. Is it axolotl aluminum? I don't know. Uh, how? I mean, it's super duper light, so I could see it being aluminum, but I don't know. And how would I test for that? That's what I do want to know. Looks like aluminum. Yeah. You got a two boxes from Fort Lauderdale yesterday, Elizabeth says. Only a couple of the nice-ish things. Oh, off the wall. Um, uh, when you buy your Legos online, how do you know which ones to buy for resale? I go, it's like, it's a gamble. If I use my gut. Uh, Tommy's asking when I buy them new, new, like from Lego, I usually go for things that are like, have a cult following. I'm trying to detangle this, um, while we talk, like I know Dr. Who, when I bought the Dr. Who ones, they, and then sometimes this is the thing you don't know. Um, you may know, but you never know with Lego that is, um, sometimes they make it like a limited run. And so you might get something and it's like, they only make it for a very short time. That's the real, like the Simpsons ones. Oh my gosh. If I known then what I know now, ah, oh, this is really tangled. Okay. Got that one out. There's a, a gold necklace in here. I really want to get this necklace out. Um, like the Simpsons mini Mart and the Simpsons house. Those are selling for so much money. All right, now here's the question. We need to decide if this gold necklace is worth getting out. It's a little Texas. It definitely has a stamp on it. I'm trying to tell if the chain, if the spring ring also has a stamp. So you know what that means. Treasure cam away. Form of, hang on, wait for it. Form of, no. <laughs> The Lone Star State. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Ah, it has a mark on it. 925 on the Texas. It must have a, you know, gold wash on it. Gold plating. And let's find that spring ring. There it is. And what says that? 120th, 14 karat gold filled. Looks like. I need my finger in there. So I can move that. Stop it. Move. It's really in there. Yeah, so that looks like it's gold filled. And then the little Texas, Sass, Texas, it is marked 925. And probably, you know, Rome gold over. This is, I mean, I'm guessing this is a maker's mark of some sort, but I don't, it just looks like a, is it a flower? What is it? It's got a stem. And then it's got this sort of lionfish. It looks like the outline of a lionfish. Thoughts? <laughs> Thoughts? I don't know. All right, let's switch a row. Switch a row. Switch her over. Just didn't finish saying the words. Uh, so what's going to happen is I will eventually deta finish detangling that. Hang on. Let me Choop. turn that off. There we go. Um, and this is a, a an earring, but I'm not going to make you sit and watch me untangle all of this unless you really, really, really want to. But let's not. Right? It looks like a fish. That's what I was like. It looks kind of like a puffer fish. Um, hello. I need my detangle me. This is true. Oh, uh, yes. My sunshine samba. All right. Oh, my goodness. No. Do we have? Do we decide on a dirty tassel song again? I, I feel like we did, but now I can't remember it. I, I have not too many songs, but here we go. Oh, dirty! I think I said last time, like dirty tangles don't deserve a song. <laughs> uh, dirty, dirty tassels. Now this one's not terrible, but it's still like I just can't with the dirty fabric. It's grody. Okay, you go over there and just be ashamed of yourself. I guess dirty tassels need love too. Again with the fabric, you know. You got a bad box and they refunded my money. 
and said I was going to get a replacement. They never sent one. Oh, okay. Huh. At least you got your money back. I, I've had them send me replacement boxes, but from what I'm reading, they aren't doing that anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, this is another one. Probably just going to end up in a lot because I just don't like the fabric personally. Uh, get over there. Okay. Next, looks like we've got a little bracelet here with some... Let me zoom it in again. Pardon me. This is the whole point, right? That we can see it closer. So um, our lobster clasp there looks like it's probably silver. Looks like it might be. I've got a... Get my loop so we don't have to switch the camera. Yeah, there's a mark in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a glare. Um, hmm. Thoughts? So this would be one that perhaps, like, if I am doing a turquoise colored lot, I might put that in there. You know? Cute. And... Uh, okay, here's what I want to know. If you like fabric stuff. This still has the tag on it. How is this bracelet... How does it look dirty already? Look at that. It looks disgusting already, but still has the tag on. That's just not right. There's just there's just a problem that we have there. Okay, next up. Are you knocking? Nope. I've had a knocker. <laughs> More than one. Anyway, so next up we've got these triple strand faux pearl bead necklace. Look at that. It's definitely, I don't know that it'll go on the head. No, it'll, it'll be like, don't put it in your mouth. No. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, what's the other word I'm thinking for this? Triple strand, graduated bead, faux pearl. Would you still call these faux pearls? Why not? Right? They've got a bit of a knacker look to them. Not knackered, but kind of like a opalescence, as you would. But I feel like there's another word I'm looking for here. What is that? Um, triple strand. Graduated beads. But then the, what do you call it? Like, I can't think of the name I'm thinking of, the word I'm thinking of, when it's like the strands are, they're... <laughs> They get, each one gets longer. Okay, help me. Help me. <laughs> Cascade? Possibly. Um, goodness gracious. I feel like there's another word that's not the, I don't, you know how that, that feeling where you're like, that's not the word I'm thinking of. Waterfall, festu, no, no, festu, no, no. Graduated, is it also graduated? Like, I know the beads are graduated getting bigger. Maybe it's graduated tier. Oh, gracious. It's, it's time we play Read Margaret's Mind. First up, good luck. <laughs> okay, then we've got this bracelet, three, um, Cascade, maybe it is Cascade, but I don't, I feel like there's a different word, <laughs> you know, and it's like when, when that her word gets hit upon, it'll be like, that's the one. Layered. Maybe it is layered. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. R M N. So those are cute. I mean, a little stretch. The stretch is good on those. So those will probably just go to a lot. Layered. I bet that's it. I bet it's just layered. I'm trying to make it harder than it needs to be. Me. I'm talking to myself. All right. Now, here we go. This is kind of like a, I don't know, pr pr Princess Leia? I need to look back at the necklace she was wearing when she was in the with the job of the hut here. Oh, here we go. This is one of my fringe, right? The, the like mysterious eyes through the what do you call those? What do you call them? Why can't I think of words today? Oh my gosh. Um, spikes, right? This multi spike necklace. Yeah, cool. Definitely someone's going to like that a lot. Next up, let me switch her over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that looks painful. Next week, I love this flower though. The red, I mean the, the gold flower. Um, 
is that tag Pura Vida? I always say it wrong. Pure or no? Let's look um, at the treasure cam. Treasure cam away. Form of what is this tag? Let's find out. I think so. It's that V I D A Pura Vida. Vida Vida. And usually they have like the fabric. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Bracelets um, that are just like string. <laughs> They're just like string, y'all. Um, yeah, so I, I think that that's that brand. And I'll have to see from what I've read. Some people say they sell. And that we'll just have to figure that out. Now, why are you not focused? Let's focus. There. But this one's kind of nice because I like... I like that flower. That's pretty cool. And it's got a teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny little eye bead down there. And then we've got this ring. Cool. Hello, hello. Hey, go over there and hit the thumbs up, friends. And to get your extra bonus karma today, share this video with somebody or a group or whoever. And say, hey, Margaret's live. You're missing out. It's going to be fun. She's, yeah, we're singing and laughing and looking at jewelry. Come join us. All right, so let's find our mandrel. Mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If you've got the mandrel, then you are it. I'm it. All right, let's see what size string is. It is a size six and a half. I think it's pretty cute. It is cute. There's no marks on it. Oh, I'm eating my words again. There's a seven. But didn't we just say that this was a size six and a half? Yes, we did. All right, but maybe the seven's for something else, or it's an L, or it's a seven. Whatever you, whatever you think. Okay, size six and a half though. Don't let the number fool you. <laughs> no wine. Oh, thanks, Debbie, for sharing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Look at this one. This one looks fancy, fancy schmancy in my pantsy. Um. So. <laughs> Gold, only it's two gold, you know, to be real. KJL. Is this Kenneth J. Lane? Is that what that one is? Y'all help me. It's quiz time. Pop quiz. KJL. Kenneth J. Lane, possibly. So, yeah, that's a nice one. And that's a nice, if, if it is that brand. I don't know that Mark, if that's, if he uses that. You have that bracelet. Yes, it is. Yes. I'm not losing it after all. I was start, you start getting worried when you can't recall words. I got it. Still got it. Uh, isn't it nice? Yeah. Yay. All right, sweet. That's a good one. All right. All right, we got some more little bangles. We've got this clamper style. This one is, it reminds me of like Tron maybe. I don't know. What do you think? It's got this cream colored enamel and black enamel, and then it's got these little rhinestones in it. JTF, all right. I, you know, just when you think you've got it, JTF comes along and says, huh, let me show you something. I don't know what JTF stands for. So, I don't know. I really prefer to buy lots and get a good, oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> Definitely. Okay, another little like cheapy bangle. Anybody know what that other one was? I don't know that one. Okay, then this one, oh dear, we're going to have to do this upright, I think. This is a multi strand. Oh, now we get to sing our song again. And then oh, we have our other song, if I can get it. It's got a short one, it's up here. And then we've got another one that goes, you know, here it comes. Down in the valley, the valley so green, I lost my poor necklace. This is where we get stuck. In cleavage so green. It was green when I started. I don't know why it is green, but all I can say now is that it is green. Anyway, <laughs> we'll work on it. It's a work in progress, okay? Um, so yeah, that's a fun one. Somebody would really like that. It's it's like pull here um, on that one. So cool. Oh uh, yeah, that's a nice one. No maker's mark. That's a fun one though. All right. <laughs> uh, then 
We've got this one. The stretch is not good. <laughs> Never more to be seen. And every time y'all give me the best, and I'm like, I'm going to remember that one. Y'all give me the best lyrics to go on off with. And I, and I totally forget. I, I just need to write it down. I need to write it down. Or oh, here we go. In the comments section after the video is over, <laughs> put your, uh, put, put your down in the valley, um, lyrics for me and I'll put them on the wall. And then eventually maybe I'll get the ukulele out and we'll just like, it'll we'll, we'll have a little, we'll have a sing along. <laughs> Fear the green cleavage. That's right. <laughs> and the place so deep. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um, so then time is what you make of it is a nice little leather bracelet and it's got a hook and eye clasp jamboree <laughs> it's like did y'all did your did your kids ever watch the um oh gosh what's it called yo gabba gabba there's a party in my tummy so yummy so yummy but only i can't make a party in my tummy but the necklace wants to go to the party in my tummy it does Yes. <laughs> Hang on. Um, oh, I need chantilly bras. They change your life. <laughs> yes. Okay, there we go. My computer. Oh, look, I'm trying to show you something, and I can't because I don't even have it show, uh, like up. Uh, here we go. Time is what you make it. That's nice. I like the sentiment. Okay. Um, <laughs> I agree with Tommy Sills. It should be so deep. Green, it seems like there's mold growing down there. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get a man if you keep that up. No I'm kidding. <laughs> it's just a science experiment. That's all. I promise to clean it up once I get my own penicillin. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Come on. Prescriptions are expensive. You know how it is. <laughs> Okay. Oh, gracious goodness. Here we go. I'm detangling. <laughs> Yo, Gabba Gabba is insane. I, you know, I, li I liked watching it because, I mean, there were some weird things for sure, very trippy. But then they would have bands like Zoom Down, and it was so fun to be like, hey, that's fun. You know, like real bands. Okay, I think this necklace is not going to get detangled. We're just going to not. Oh, I have a tub. Like I've been starting a, for one of the lots I'm going to do, I've got like a little blue basket of all of the stuff like this. That's just like, I, I can't get it detangled. And I've just decided I don't want to. And so this will probably just go straight in that basket. And then I'll just sell it like, who wants a tangle? Um, yeah. Because I know some people really get into detangling stuff. It's zen for them. This has got something on it, though. Some kind of residue. I don't know. But, yeah, that's what's going to happen with this. There's some fun stuff in there, though. There's, like, a wishbone and all that. Okay, you're going to get to go have fun with somebody else. we got another bangle here. That's what antibacterial wipes are for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it could be from poor quality metal. Yep. Okay. Five pounds. Oh yeah. So five pounds of tangled that I totally probably could. Cause really, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't enjoy detangling at all and I'll do it for the videos when I have the camera down. Look, I can't even, you can't even see what I'm showing you, but because I can just like listen to music and detangle and put sunshine Samba over it. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous darlings. Oh my goodness. This is, this is the winner so far for sure. So we have got this delightful little turquoise heart set in sterling silver. And it is marked 95 Mexico. Um, so because of the tarnish and stuff, I know sometimes you're like, oh, you really need to test it. I, I would look, rub, rub, rub. Um, I would be very surprised if it did not end up being sterling. Rubby, 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 rub, 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 rub. Um, Look at that. Yeah. Uh, what is the name for this? So I know the bangle. I know it's got the little hook and eye closure, but there's a name for this style where there's like a charm style that's hanging on one side and it hooks on the other side. 
um, anybody in the chat know the name of this style? So if I were to list this someday, <laughs> um, I would be able to remember that, but now I can't remember. Okay, isn't it sweet though? I love it. I, I really do. I think it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, that would be, that's a nice piece. I guess to go over there. Uh, solo earring so far. Then we've got this one. Oh, your husband is really good at detangling. Maybe you can talk my, my kids into detangling it for a price. They will do anything for money. Well, not anything, but um, I don't know. They're like me in a lot of ways in such that sitting still is a challenge. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is another nice one. It's got that same kind of gold coloring as this one, the Kenneth J. Lane one. Uh, but I don't see a maker's mark on it. But isn't it sweet? That's nice. Um, all you want is a box of bracelets, brooches, rings. Forget the necklaces. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hear for you. No, no, I won't. <laughs> all right, so there's that. That's sweet. <clears throat> uh, and then this one, you know, fabric. That's got the tighteners like so. That's got a name. I can't think of the name. Oh, then. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. There's a ring and a necklace that fell. Oh, we're going to sing a song tonight. Only it's not tonight. We're going to sing a song right now. Are you ready for it? Sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Woo! Sassy tassel? This is kind of like a, this is a double duty one. This is a down in the valley. <laughs> and a sassy tassel. Down in the valley, the valley so green. <laughs> down in the valley, the valley so mean. I lost my poor tassel. Never again to be seen. It slipped down in the valley between the two shores. No, that doesn't work. And then my poor tassel slipped onto the floor. How was it going to escape? I don't know. We got to work this out. The logistics of this is not working for the song. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll pack a bracelet are like that yeah but they don't typically think they're yeah fish hook class maybe that might be i'll have to look it up um yeah but i don't think that one's alpaca though okay so da -da -da -da, that one's kind of cool it does look like you know it's like sewn like threaded with the blue but it's nice i think somebody would really like that but that would totally get lost Never again to be seen. <laughs> and then we've got a ring that is copper and must have at one point had more like gold tone finish on it. This is sort of like Illuminati-esque. Illuminati-esque. Thoughts? Yeah. So that'll go to a lot probably. Oh, but you know, we didn't do the mandrel. Mandrel, mandrel. Uh-oh, resale's bad. What'd she say? What'd she say? Eight and three quarters. You can send all the time. Yeah, return's not guaranteed. <laughs> oh. Between the two hills, I sold my poor tassel to help pay the bills. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to do it. All right, here comes some more. Ooh. Move over bacon. We've got something leaner. Look at this one. We've got another one of those like fish hook closures, right? But this one's got more of a panel. We really need to bend that. That needs to be more bent, I think. But look, we've got this really cool asymmetrical panel etched, kind of tribal, but then almost a hammered look too. Um, so this could be like modernist almost brutalist not quite brutalist would you still put brutalist on that what do you think uh, not quite but very cool look at that yeah that's a, a unique bracelet 
someone will definitely get into that one. Do you have a good way to tell the difference between copper and brass? I usually have to look at it, but copper is more like, see, like orangey. And then the brassy is more gold looking, you know, like, yeah. But the copper is more like copper top, like my hair, right? Um, yeah. All right. So then we've got, look at this one. Okay. The kilts. I see a broken string. Don't fret. Ah. Brass is closer to gold and copper is browner, you say. Okay. Not brutal, just slightly better. <laughs> All right, so then we've got this one. Looks like there is a broken strand there. But, I mean, in a craft lot, somebody would definitely like those pieces. It's got some solid, solid things to work with. Definitely. Some of those are a little darker than others. So whether they are, like, that's not really choice. Probably somehow light. And then those, I'm not sure about what they are. But then the pieces in between are pretty cool, you know, the spacers and such. All right. So that one, yeah, that'll go to a lot. Then, oh, is this one thing or, oh boy, here we go. I don't like jewelry that makes me think, right? That's just not, no, I don't like, I don't think that's true either. So don't, don't listen to me. I just don't like that it's causing me <laughs> things right now. Okay. This sounds more like a wind chime, like I should have it like shells hanging outside. Um, so what we have here is, <laughs> what did this say, hang on. Oh, it's from icing, okay. I'm just thinking, I mean, I know, again, everybody has their own style, but this is like somebody was like, you know what? We need to put in the icing, our store. I'm a, a designer, a jewelry designer for icing. We need something that's like wood and I guess wood and shell go together and maybe some, some seed beads. But let's not make them the same color or in the same color family because why would we? And <laughs> no, they're, I'm teasing. They're neutral, right? They're just like a neutral coloring. I mean, somebody will like that. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're allowed to have our own opinions. I, it's not my. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite, but that's okay. All right, and then. Ooh. Oh no, the pieces are falling off of this one. Hang on, I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it back up. Hello. So this has got a really cool like stopper piece over here. I feel like I could just tie this end off. And I could use it as a, one of those, what you been doodles, where you're like a fidget, a fidget toy, right? I could just use this as a fidget toy and slide these things around on these two chains. Isn't that fun? Well, that's the back. You can't see it like so. But yeah, th this is broken on this end. So some of the pieces are sliding off. It's cool. That's too bad because that's a cool thing. A cool piece. Then we've got random string. Go over there. Then we've got some pearls. Uh oh, hang on. We've got some beautiful pearls. Some fresh waters. Aren't they pretty? Oh, it's got a little knot in them. I get that out carefully. I just made a pearl lot. That was one of the videos I put up. <clears throat> and yeah, so maybe the next one you can go into that. Isn't it pretty though? It's a triple strand, freshwater pearl necklace with a little box clasp. Is that what you call this style? I think it is. It's not like the fold over boxes. Is, do you call this one a box as well? I guess I need to do my research on that. I can't remember. And then that part slips into there. Okay, on my oh, it does it does need to go on my head, doesn't it? Can this one stay up though? This is the question. Oh no, it's too long. <laughs> it's too long. Here, how can we do this? I don't know. There, no. This isn't working. And now it's caught. Oh, there we got it. Yeah, that's a nice one. Sweet, very sweet. 
And then we've got another stretch bracelet. The stretch is yeah, it's all right in this one. The stretch is okay. A fish hook clasp. Is it? Maybe you're right. Okay. I haven't, I guess I haven't listed one of those in a while, so I haven't had to name the clasp. You know what I mean? Fish hook clasp. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because um, the box clasp is the one that like folds over on itself, right? All right, then there's that. It's broken. Another bangle on the hillside. Little bangles made of ticky tacky. Little bangles made of. Here, here we go. I just need clips so that I can clip these into my hair. There. Now, what do you think? Nice. Oh no, now it's really caught. If I have a hair malfunction. But it's, I mean, I guess it's not awful. The threads and such. But, um, I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, that's an earring. Okay. Then we've got this like rubbery tubing. It's crimped in some spots. And then some slide beads. Somebody will probably enjoy that for taking it apart. Yeah. Um, there are, oh, is a type of, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, they're having a pearl discussion. Pearls. Yes. <laughs> Warrior princess. Okay. We've got a little earring, another earring. This is caged, caged amber, but not really amber. Then we've got a little necklace that's, yeah, not really gold. We still have some more stuff. Oh, I see a pretty ring. Look it. Who likes Marcusite? I do. So this one, um, oh gosh, here we go again. Why do I challenge myself? The name of this shape is, this is somewhere key, is it? It looks like an eye if you turn it that one. Oh gosh, why do I do this? Why do I do this? But it does not appear to be set in silver. So I don't know. Eyeball shape. Yeah, but there is another name for that. <laughs> and I know Marquise. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that what I said? Is that what I said? That is what I said, right? Okay. <laughs> Marquise. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's a nice ring. Even though it's not really silver, uh, I think somebody would enjoy... Okay, it's not magnetic either, but it's, yeah, it's definitely, I don't think it's silver at all. Yeah. Okay. Marquis sounds like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely still pretty. I still think somebody will, will like that ring a lot. Very cool. I went through a big Marcusite phase where I, I just loved it. All right. Let's take a look at this one. This one's got a really substantial, the caps, <laughs> the caps at the end of the beads. This one is Carlisle, which is a brand. And there are these, they're plastic beads. Let me zoom it out a bit so you can see it a little bit better. And they appear to be like twisted together and back again. Colors. Now, here's the question. What color would you, I mean, this is kind of like an off-whitey color. This is orange, orange brown, burnt sienna, burnt umber. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but I like the finishes on those, so I'll have to look it up and see if I see another one of these up there so I can find out what color they call this, because I just don't know. What do you think? What is that color? I don't know. Then we've got another necklace. This one is broken, and ivory and coffee. Ecru and cinnamon. Ooh, honey. Okay. Because then I'm trying to think, like, what would somebody say if they're searching for that color? What are they looking for? I need a necklace that is goldy beige, cafe au lait, cafe, not au lait, cinnamon, taupe, beige. Because, like, when you search for stuff, what do you, what color would you put in? 
I wonder. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's trouble. Look at these though. Hello. I like them because they're different. They are orange and yellow. See how easy that was? <laughs> Beige and beiger. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't use the word ivory because they pick it up as real ivory. I've had that happen on, on um, Etsy. All right, hello. You're going on my head. You're going on my head. I like it. I feel like a little, like a flower child. Pinto beans. There we go. <laughs> All your New Year's Day <laughs> needs in one place. Yeah. Oh, this is, I like these. I think... Where's the edge of that one? Let's go look with our treasure cam. Treasure cam. Wait, wait, we have to get over here. Um, because I'm trying to see, I feel like maybe these are ceramic. Let's find out. Tell me what you think. They're definitely painted. But I'm trying to look in the, un, I'm trying to look underneath, right there. Focus, see there. So what do you think? Ceramic? Painted ceramic? I'm trying to look under that cap to see. I think that's probably what it is. They're too heavy to be paper mache. You know. So that's pretty cool though. I would say these are splatter painted or modeled or I don't know. <laughs> the more you look at them, the more you're like, Wow, that looks like something from CSI, maybe. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, then we've got this long necklace. It is gold turn. And then it's got these bezel set pink. I'm feeling on them. I'm trying to tell if they're really stone or not. No, I don't think so. I think they're just plastic to look like rose quartz. Then we also have a hang tag. That I believe says Coldwater Creek. I don't think that's Coldwater Creek after all. <laughs> Treasure cam. <laughs> Away. Form of. Oh, you're already on. Yay. <laughs> Form of. What is it? Sarah Coventry. Coldwater Creek. That is a lot of words that, that I gave that little tag credit for holding. <laughs> Kidney stone. Lava balls. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Last year Paris. Yeah, Florida grapefruit rejects. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're they're much heavier. Um <laughs> all right, then we've got this little bit of wire just kind of wrapped around. We've got dirty tassels. No, dirty tassels. That's my my mommy dearest. No dirty tassels. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then we've got this one. The stretch is not so good with that. Um, oh, this is one of those. Okay. I always have a problem with the name of this. Okay. Because this is called a slave bracelet. And I don't, I, I think somebody told me what the, another name for this is. One of those that you put on the wrist like so. And then the ring goes on the ring finger. Let's see what the size of this is. Because I know I'm going to get the question. I wish cold water. Oh, yeah. Cold Water Creek. Wish it sold better than it does. So it is about a size 10. You can see some little jump rings in there. Looks like perhaps this was... Here, let's look closer. Treasure Kayama away. Cold Water Creek. I think they're, 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 um, they had a bunch of stores and then they stopped having a bunch of stores. And then they went back to like their catalog business. But then I think they've got some stores open again, don't they? I feel like they do, but maybe I'm wrong. I have been known to be wrong daily. Yeah, this looks like somebody made this. Um, the jump little jump rings used are a different metal and color than the bead chains. But yeah, I think somebody will really like this. And I can't remember the other word, the other name for this other than slave bracelet. But yeah, okay. There's that one. And if I, y'all, yeah, tell me about Coldwater Creek because I don't know. I think that's right though. Because I feel like somebody was just the other day saying, I was going to go to Coldwater Creek, but it was closed. They closed at five. It is. Mary told me that. 
but maybe it wasn't Coldwater Creek she was going to. I could be totally mistaken. All right, we've got a stretchy bracelet. Oh, look. Hello. Look at this beauty. We're just zooming in. We're zooming in on this big old pearl. Big pearl ring. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I think it's so pretty. It's marked something in there. And we'll look at that in a second. And how love. Lovely. I love it. I love it. It's big, right? It reminds me of Queen Elizabeth the First, right? Right. Right there. You know, the Queen. So this one is a size about six and a half, a little over six and a half. And let's get our treasure cam and take a peek at what that stamp says. I'm guessing 925, but I could be wrong, as I frequently am. But I'm fine with that. Here we go. Treasure cam away. Form of, what does it say? I think it's electric plate. What? Hang on. 18 K C E. No, no, G E. 18 karat gold electric plate, but it's not gold. Unless it's white gold electric plate. Do they do they do that? Do they? <clears throat> Have you ever come across that? I mean, that's what H G I mean G E is. 18 K gold electric plate. Unless I've got that wrong. Thoughts? Indian hand chain or harness bracelet. Okay, that's another name for it. Thank you. Hand flowers in India. Okay, thank you. Because I'm like, I feel really, I don't want to use that. Okay, so thoughts? Cosplay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know about the H or the KGE on this one. The GE. Pardon. But I love this ring. I have a ring of my grandmother's that's got a black stone. I guess it's an onyx and a pearl. I love it. I love it. Love it. Yeah. Hand flower sounds so much nicer, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. All right. So I love this one. Let's move it on. Oh, thank you. We've got some more spikes. It's very, well, it's damaged, but very spiky and very heavy. Somebody will enjoy playing with that. Then, oh my goodness, what are you? Okay, help me. So we've got this beautiful blue something set in something. What is it? Looks like this, this. White metal, okay. Yeah, not much value, but it's so pretty. <laughs> Look at that. Is it, I mean, what? Okay, let's look at it closer down below, but not with the treasure cam. Let's just look at our regular camera. Here we go. I'm going to have to zoom it in. A teens. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. And focus, please. This is so pretty. I love it because it's almost matte, but then it's got this like messy etching on it. Um, there, like this scuffed, scratched look. That is not, look at that. That almost looks like it's got that opalescent in there, like um, like an opal would, right? It's not, look, okay. I feel like this is something really cool and special. It's got that um, effect like an opal does where it's something deeper inside and it um, where the colors move around, kind of like on Labradorite it does that. But this isn't Labradorite, but then the coloring... Oh, I need help, big time. I don't know what it is, but the colors in there are just mesmerizing. Can you see that? It's a small cuff. I just need it to wrap around and be a finger. No, it doesn't move, though. Look. It's really not moving. Are there blue opals? That's the question. See, you can see like the greeny and purpley in right there. And when I move it, 
in different, there's more up here too earlier. Okay, we're gonna leave that for a second. Water, is that a, is there, I don't know, water stone. Extra large toe ring. I don't know, I mean, let's, what do you do? This is so cool, but I don't know what it is. There are blue opals, looks like an opal. I'm gonna have to find out. And let me see if there's any clues in the bag as to what else it could be. No. Hmm, all right, this is our mystery piece. It's gorgeous, and we've got to find out what, unless it was once upon a time, once upon a time soldered onto something else. Let's see, possibly. I haven't tested the metal yet. It feels very powdery. It is not magnetic, but <clears throat> I don't think it's gold either because it's so firm. You know what I mean? Um, like if it were gold, gold is much softer than this. Oh, there it goes. I can kind of bend it there. If I'm destroying this, I blame you. <laughs> but look, oh, now I would wear this as a ring a million times over. Look at that. Perhaps. Yeah. Because, oh, look, maybe that's what that is on the inside. Perhaps that that piece does go underneath. That's why there's that um, mark under. There, yeah. I was hesitant to push it too much. But, yeah, maybe that's what that marking was down there. And then you've got this gorge ring. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I need to look up the stone because the stone is, like I say, mesmerizing. Would this be a catch and release? I feel like it is my duty <laughs> to keep it for a while until I figure out what's going on with this stone. Isn't it beautiful? It's so stunning. I'm so glad that you were here to help me and give me the confidence to bend it when I was unsure about bending it. Yeah, this is very, 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 very cool. Yeah, catch and release it to me. <laughs> I've got to find out what this stone is. Because <clears throat> if it is a blue opal, then that could, because I just don't see that ever. All right, this at the spot I have it bent at is approximately, let me try to get it here where I can see it, about a size eight in that spot. Oh my goodness. Yep, I think this might be one that I have to hang on to for a minute until I figure out what the stone is for sure and or have a bill that I need to pay. Yeah, I think it could be something special too, Susan. I do. It feels almost like um, like a custom piece, you know? My grandmother would do that. She would get, when she traveled, she would bring back, like buy loose stones or I have a ring I've shown of Warren. It's got an emerald in it that she got on her travels. And she, when she got home, she had it made into a ring. And so um, I feel like, like maybe this is something like that, but I don't, I don't think that this is gold because it's so, I mean, gold is much, much softer than this. Um, I don't think the gem tester tests for opals though. I can pull it out later. Um, but I'll, I'll test this metal too and see. I, don't, I mean, I don't think it's gold. And it's not marked for sure. Let's get in there and look again. No. Let's look along the This part, however, let's get the other. I'm going to do the other uh, camera. Camera. Let's look at that and see if we can't compare. Like this part. I, it might be gold, but then, oh gosh, you guys, just look. Hang on, let me try to focus that. Just look at this. Oh, gracious me. So there, like this part, I could see. I may just have to test it. But this stone is, well, yeah. Okay. I'm drooling over it. I'm just drooling. Okay. 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 I'll move on. I don't want to, but I will. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you think it's an artisan piece? I bet. Yeah. I, I'm going to, I will keep you posted. Could it be Pariaba blue color opal? I don't, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't. 
Um, like I can spot opals usually, but I've never seen one that looked like this. So uh, let's see, but I'll definitely look that up. 22 K I'm going to, I'll test it for sure. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, Texas gal treasures, then I'll, I'll share there what I find out. You think it's a real opal? This may be a major catch and catch. <laughs> My thing is like, no, it's not lapis. I, I've never, cause I don't think lapis has that effect, right? Where you can kind of see into it. You know what I'm talking about? Lapis has got like little gold flecks in it and yeah. And metal. Oh, okay. In metal clay classes, I've attended some students will wear, would craft a piece out of fine silver clay, then paint gold over it. And once they fire, the gold adheres to the silver. Okay. So I will have to find a spot that I can test this without trying to uh, let's see. Sometimes if the opal cab is very thin, they'll put a, a lucite back on it and they do use blue. Oh my goodness. Okay. Look at how you learn. You learn something new every day. There are blue opals. They look just like that. Oh my gosh. No, definitely not sodalite. That's more bluey whitey. This one is special. I think, I think it's special. Okay. So I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. I don't even want to take it off. The only problem is I don't, I know that I'm probably going to end up selling it. You know why? I don't normally wear rings that go up that high on my knuckle and I'm afraid I'll, it'll just sit in my, it's going to end up sitting in my, <laughs> um, my jewelry with my, it'll sit in with, with the rest of my rings and be sad that nobody's wearing it and be like calling to me from my, my jewelry drawer. Wear me. Sorry, ring. You go too close to my knuckle. But it's so pretty. Ah, I can't. <sighs> okay. I have to take it off. I'm going to put it over here. I'll find out more about it. I'll test it. And then um, maybe this will be one of the things that I put up on my, I'll do an auction for it after I've tested it and figured out what it is. Try my thumb. Which one? My big toe thumb or my regular thumb? Maybe it hides my big toe thumb. <laughs> I have a short thumb for real. What do you think? I just don't think, I don't think that's my style though, but it's so pretty. Okay. 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 All right. Let me, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to dump. We're going to do a dump. How about that? I'll focus it. Hang on. I'm going to dump the rest out. And when I get done here, focus, I'll go test this out and see what we can find out about it. All right. Move over y'all. We've got... Let me zoom in a bit. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that y'all were here to give me that. I'm serious. Like I probably, if I was sitting by myself, I would like, I don't want to bend it. I don't know if I'm supposed to bend it. Um, so here's this, these cute little earrings. Those are nice with the little green stones. Cool. I just, I was looking at this. I have the robot necklace to match this guy. I was looking at it yesterday. Isn't that funny? That was the magnet. I hope we don't need that. Um, is your mate here, robot? Nope. The robot mate is not there, but I do have a necklace that matches that. And then we've got this Mark Jacobs rose gold chain link bracelet. Look how it opens and closes. How fun is this? You turn it, and then you can open it up, take it off. And you put it back on and you lock it choop, into place. Isn't that fun? That's fun. Cute, Mark Jacobs. Then we've got a kitty cat. There we go. What is the name? Oh, it's not in my description. This is a V. Hang on. I'm going to show you. I need to put it in my description. I thought I had it in there. It is a IPVO. IPVO? Is that right? Four. V4K. Yeah. I got it on Amazon. I'll have to make sure I get the link in it. I thought I had it down there, but I'll double check. I love it. I love it. Um, a doublet. That's what they call it when they do the lucite backing. Okay. Then, oh, you could put it on a, a pendant. Oh, make this a pendant and wear it like as a necklace. That's true. Yes, it's free to subscribe. 
yes, please subscribe, y'all. Finally thought, her, oh, it looks like somebody designed by Elsa Peretti. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, okay. No, 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 I appreciate it. Any information, I am so appreciative. All right, so there's that kitty cat. No maker's mark. Then we've got this necklace. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Pardon me. So you can see it a little bit better. Okay. Uh, and it needs to be detangled. But this one is a Vera, right? Is that that's the Simply Vera? Y'all helped me with that one last time. It's one of those that I see it and I can't ever remember what it is. But I think that's the Vera or Simply Vera by Vera Wing. Lots of chains wrapped around the stones. That's cute. Honestly, my brain is like, I want to go test this ring. Then we've got this cute clamper bracelet. I love the greens and the turquoise bling on it. Hang on, we've got to make this. There. Yep, you're hearing loads of technical stuff. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Lots of Lucy's. Lucy Goosey's. Y'all go over there. Oh, that's a cute earring. Is that the way it's supposed to look? Yeah. Oh, the mate is not here, but look at that. Look how fun that one is. I love it. That's a bummer. I'll have to put it in my earring tub. Look at that one, too. It's a big, giant orange. No mate for that one either. That one's fun. And we've got a bow ring. Silver tone. Yep. Three-dimensional bow ring. It's got some of the wear rubbing off of it. Look at this one though. Nice. So that's like, what color would you call that? Aquamarine? Tur it's not quite turquoise, but I'm trying to zoom it for you. Like so. There. And then bezel set. Yeah, it looks like it's adjustable, but it's not. That's really pretty. Let's get the mandrel on this one. Um... That is a size five. Very, very pretty. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Seafoam. It's phrenite. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Ah. Yeah, it's amazing how many earrings don't have mates. I, yeah, I, I mean, I frequently, though, I do have a box full of solo earrings that I, the mates turn up, I'm like, wait a minute, I think I've got that, it's over in the box. And yeah, so it happens. Just throw them in a box, I mean, look at this one. That is totally mod, that would match my weird, funky hair that I've got going on. If I get my hair, if I get my flip going. <laughs> and it's a clip on, let's see how we do. Can we do it? Yes, we can. There. There, okay. Um, let's see. That's pretty much what we got here. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a little, another little stretch with some nice little clothes and beads and stuff. Okay. Winners, for sure. This ring, the pearls, and let's not forget the turquoise bracelet, which is where? Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. It's caught in the wires. Beautiful. I just need the go-go boots, right? The white go-go boots. That's not... I think I could do better than this. This is my karate, too. My karate and my <laughs> dancing are the same. Dance fighting. That's... Anyway. Okay, I'm going to go check this out, get some closer pictures of that awesome stone and... Yeah, and let you know what I find out about it. I'm going to pull my testing kit, my gold and my silver testing kit out, see if it tests out as, as silver, and and do a little search, a little soul searching. We're going to have a heart to heart and see what um, <laughs> behave, right? <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, all right. So, again, if you see videos that are the listings for my eBay auctions that I'm starting to do to try to clear out some inventory. And it's not just craft lots. It's like legit. I have too much jewelry and I need to like get 
get it sold. So if you don't want to watch those, cool, just don't, you know, and if you do, great. Um, yeah. All right. I will talk to you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for hanging out. 168 friends. I'm so glad that you made it. Uh, go and share this with a friend. Think about that. Think about how much joy you could bring to a friend if you shared this video with them and said, hey, go subscribe to Margaret. She's got a goal and she would like to get to 100,000 subscribers. Uh, can you let us know about the, yeah, I'm going to post on my Facebook and my Instagram. So Texas Gal Treasures, Facebook, Instagram, go follow me and I will, I feel like this is one to twin powers. Activate form of a waterfall. Form of a tiger. All right. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Oh my gosh. Did you see the jiggle? Don't even, don't talk about my arms jiggling. Bye. <laughs>